if you guys are interested in watching me play live, my Twitch is in the description down below. Make sure to hit that follow button, and I hope to see you there. Peace. I'm going to share with you guys 10 of the best class setups to use after the 1.24 update. Now, this is going to feature a mix between the base weapons and some of the DLC weapons. All right. This is in no particular order, but we are going to start with the assault rifles. For the first class setup, we got the Rampart 17. We all know and love the Rampart 17. We got High Cal 1, High Cal 2, Grip, and Fast Mags. Now, this class setup is definitely beast. This is a, a staple class setup that I feel like every single player needs. It's about a three shot kill especially with the high cal one and high cal two attached this definitely goes hard in the paint uh then for gear we got stim shot perk one there's nothing so we're going to use crash to help replenish our ammo and gung-ho and dead silence so uh, most of the perks and gear that i use is going to be the same so i'm not going to repeat what they're meant for throughout the whole course of this video just to save some time and i just want to reiterate that the perks and the gear is totally up to you you can do whatever you want you can mix and match uh, but as far as the attachments go this is definitely pretty much the best way to go if you're trying to maximize the overall potential of the gun itself uh, as far as performance time to kill and all that good stuff so that's the rampart 17 then we got the kn57 this is one of my favorite class setups right here this is a suppressed kn class setup this one you can never go wrong with you got the suppressor on it just to stay as stealthy as possible so that you don't show up on the enemy radar when you're firing your weapon and then we got stocks so we can strafe left and right in those gunfights and be more evasive and we got hybrid mags so we can reload faster and it also comes with extra ammo and rapid fire so we can decrease that time to kill this is the class setup that i mostly prefer if i'm really trying to stay stealthy as much as possible this is my number one stealth class setup right here and it can never go wrong man the kn57 is super reliable super consistent then for gear i've got comsec device so we can earn our score sheets a lot faster and then perk one we got nothing so we're using crash and this will go well with the comsec device because when we use crash's ability it will help us earn that much more points Points, which means that we're going to get closer to our score streaks and we'll be able to cycle our score streaks a lot faster because of that then for perk two we got gung-ho perk three we got dead silence now for class setup number three we got the maddox rfb man this is definitely a classic and a staple that everybody should have i will admit it is not a gun that is easy to use but if you learn how to master it and use it the right way, it can be a very deadly type of weapon. Now, the pros are responsible for making this class setup very popular. And the reason being is because of these attachments right here. So let's go over it real quick. We got the ELO for the optic. Then we got quick draw one, quick draw two, and stock. Now, the highlight of this weapon that you need to know is that quick draw two is going to help you have a better field of vision when you aim down sights. You don't get a zoomed type of field of vision, which is why it gives you a great advantage. And then number two, it helps you aim in super quick super fast and you're supposed to spam the ads when you're using this weapon just like the pros do because when you do that it helps you lock onto your enemy a lot faster versus your opponent which will have the disadvantage i do have a video explaining how to do all that stuff correctly i will leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in that and how to use the maddox rfb uh, but yes this is a really great class setup then i got stem shot for my gear perk one scavenger perk two is going to be gung-ho and dead sounds will be perk three moving on to smgs now we got the mx9 this is a really great class setup right here now i'm gonna explain why in a little bit for attachments we got the hybrid mags then we got high caliber then we got rapid fire and your secondary is going to be helium salvo to take down those uavs or destroy those enemy microwaves or fences it's going to be really helpful in those aspects this is the most important part to this class setup right here this is the equipment charge and if you use the reaper specialist you're going to be able to earn your reaper specialist at least four times in one match of tdm you got to call in your reaper specialist right away use him to his fullest ability and and then wait till you get your reaper specials again and then you should be on another streak calling in your score streak cycling through them pretty easily uh, this is actually the setup i used and prefer if i want to go for nuclears or for high score streaks and just keep cycling through them over and over again uh, then we got scavenger gung-ho and dead silence closing thoughts on this class setup is if you're using something like an smg you want to take the gunfight to the enemy do not engage in long range gunfights because more than likely you will lose that because the mx9 is about a nine shot kill from that range and that is super super weak and not a good thing to do class up number four we got the cordite here this is one of my favorite class setups for the cordite uh we got rapid fire then we got long barrel and then we got the belt feed operator mod right here this is going to be helpful when you're rushing and you're going against multiple enemies you don't need to worry about reloading you could just focus on the task at hand which is just dropping your enemies and that's why i like this setup a lot as well and then we got stim shots so we can recover faster then we got perk one which is going to be flak jacket this is going to help us survive 
revive those mesh mine or other explosives in the game and as well as recover quickly when you're wounded from the fire and radiation so this is definitely helpful and it adds a lot more versatility to your class setup because we don't need to worry about reloading this comes with lots of ammo already so you don't need scavenger or you don't need to use crash you can use whatever spells as you want then we got gung-ho and we got dead silence so this is my favorite cordite class setup right here then moving on we got the sog class setup another fan favorite right here probably one of the most popular smgs in the game because pros use it as well so we got on stock here then we got quick draw then we got grip and we got fast mags i feel like these attachments right here are definitely necessary all these attachments definitely help bring out the overall potential of this gun and help with the performance this gun is really great with handling one tip that i have is when you're in those close quarter gunfights you're going to notice that it's really hard to lock onto your enemy from a really close distance which is absolutely crazy because it's an smg you know you expect it to be good at those ranges but uh you need to aim out from your opponent really quick and then adjust your aim and aim back in when you're in those close quarter gunfights okay so that's something that you have to keep in mind when you're using something like the sog then for gear we got stim shot perk one we got nothing so we're going to use crash gung-ho and we got dead sound so then moving on we got the damon 3 xp this gun is loved and hated by many people for good reason you know it's a dlc weapon not everybody has it but if you do have it consider yourself lucky because this gun is definitely deadly it will kill people super super quickly we got high cal 1 and high cal 2 then we got rapid fire and hybrid mags man this is just a super overpowered class setup right here it'll drop enemies really really fast the thing that makes it super op is that it could even compete at long ranges of course that's not ideal you want to take the gunfight to the enemy using an smg to maximize its overall potential time to kill then for gear we got comsec device so we can earn our score streaks a lot faster again you could use whatever you want but this is just my personal preference perk one we got nothing on here so we're going to use crash uh perk two is gung-ho perk three is dead silence next we got the vmp man i cannot include the best stand class setups without including the vmp the vmp is also one of those guns of the game that some people don't like because it is something that's only attainable in reserve crates so if you do have this consider yourself lucky again so this gun is very comparable to the SOG in fact it is better than the SOG just because of its damage profiles are a lot better and the shots to kill is about five to six shots to kill versus the SOG where it's about six to seven shots to kill so for attachments we're using stock then we got fast mags then we got grip and quick draw now I will say you don't really need grip on it but like I keep saying if you want to increase the overall potential of this gun i would definitely put on grip if you're really trying to laser in your accuracy i would definitely recommend grip but if you could control the recoil which is actually doable this gun actually has very minimal recoil you could replace grip with long barrel to increase your damage ranges so that's definitely up to you you can do that if you want then for gear we got stim shot perk one we got nothing so again i'm using crash as you can see crash is my favorite specialist this is a personal preference perk two is gung-ho perk three is dead sound class setup number nine we're moving on to tactical rifle now now out of all the tactical rifles i feel like the swordfish is definitely the best one in the game for optics i'm using reflex sight then for attachments i'm using quick draw hybrid mags and high caliber now the way you want to use this weapon properly is at a distance and try not to rush with it too hard you could melt people with it up close and personal but that's not preferred because it's a tactical rifle so you want to keep the distance at medium to long range for it to be super effective and you will definitely melt people in like about one to two bursts with this class setup right here then for gear i got stim shot perk one scavenger perk two is gung-ho perk three is dead silence so having scavenger as perk one that opens up what kind of specialist we could use you could use whatever specialist you want because we got scavenger you don't have to worry about using crash for the last and final class setup we're moving on to the light machine guns here for lmgs i feel like the vkm is definitely the most deadly one this setup right here drops enemies in about two shots let's go over the class setup real quick we got high cal one high cal two fast mag so we can make the reload time a lot faster this thing brings down the reload time to two seconds from about five seconds so that's a really big difference then we got rapid fire because the rate of fire on this weapon as is without rapid fire is actually really slow so putting on rapid fire is definitely necessary uh then for gear we got stim shot perk one there's nothing so we're using crash uh perk two is gung-ho perk three is dead sound so closing thoughts about using the vkm is of course you want to use it at a distance it's a two-shot kill from any range so i would just 
just recommend play really reserved with it. Do not rush with this weapon. It's an LMG, guys. So it's meant to be used at a long distance. And that's about it for today's class setups. This is probably last and final class setup video as far as the best class setups go after every update. Man, it's been an incredible year, guys. And I hope you guys have enjoyed the content so far. Let me know down below in the comments if you felt like I missed a class setup that I should have added. Uh, but I felt like these are the heavy hitters of Black Ops 4, man. These 10 class setups right here are the ones that are going to be the most remembered because of their time to kill and their shots to kill and their effectiveness and their overall performance as weapons in general of course you want to use them on certain maps that's why it's great to have a wide variety of class setups i hope you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like on this video if you want to support the channel subscribe if you're new around here and i will see you guys in the next video peace hey guys i just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member and if you are interested in joining there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you remember this is not required by any means and i appreciate all the support whether you're a member or not all right i'll see you guys in the next video peace